Hi everybody. In today's video we are starting on the EGT probe installations. Which is a pretty simple process. There's just, you know, there's a little bit of math involved. So first of all, uh, Spruce was out. Supply chain is starting to really whip some 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 people's butt around here. Uh, thankfully not mine. I'm resourceful. I got these from somewhere else. These are the G3X Touch EGT probes. These are meant for the system. Uh, and, and they're really great. And for step number one is you want to determine how far down into the exhaust you want to put them. Uh, from everything that I read, the average distance was, you know, about two and a half inches. Right? So I said, okay, great. Two and a half inches it is. Uh, to do that, now, two and a half inches meaning that you want the tip of the probe two and a half inches below the flame front which is basically the you know the bottom of the exhaust board from your cylinder. These exhaust tubes aren't exactly straight. So in a, in a little bit here you'll see from a better angle what I'm talking about. They're actually on a bend. And when you drill the holes into the exhaust, you want to drill the holes perpendicular to the exhaust. This isn't about trying to drill a hole in the direction you want the probe to go. It has to be perpendicular to the exhaust. So a little bit of trigonometry is required because you may have to mount one yeah, you know, like a, not a tenth, but like a fifteenth to a twentieth of an inch lower because it's on a curve facing up, and so the tip of the exhaust gas, uh, of the EGT probe is actually going up. So, as you can see there, do they look like they're identical? Not exactly, but I guarantee you that the tip of them is two and a half inches from the bottom, and that's what we want. So, warning maths is required. Alright, the other thing about it, so read the instructions very <laughs> very importantly. Uh, and this is why you always need to have a complete 1 to 60 numerical drill bit set. Uh, what you do is you drill a number 32 or 31 into the exhaust, again perpendicularly. I use a little hole punch to make a uh, dent and then drill there. Once you've drilled, and I do a, little, I do a quick deburr, you're going to put the probe on and start tightening it up. Now it's a pipe clamp. It's a stainless steel pipe clamp. You know that you can just use a flathead screwdriver or a small, I want to say like 5 sixteenths inch, uh, 5 sixteenths socket to tighten. As you tighten it up, the seat of the probe actually squeezes into that hole and sort of seals itself. And that's the idea is that you want it to seal into the exhaust. Now, if it doesn't want to go in, you can simply take a little piece of wood and a soft hammer and just give it a little bit of a motivation, and that usually pops it in place. Then it's just a simple matter of wiring it up just like we did for the CHD probes. Though these don't have the cool auto-locking uh, ring terminal ends that the CHT probes did, but they still work perfectly fine. It's definitely going to be interesting. So this is the first half, right? The second half is going to be much more interesting on the left side because we have an O2 sensor, which we'll get into that uh, bit later. All oh, right, there you can see me trying to put a clamp on the rudder, which I can also explain. Well, I'll, hell, I'll just explain it now. i got time. So in order to secure the rudder trim or the yaw dampener, cables to the rudder cables, you need to have the rudder perfectly square. You can't really trust that as you're laying in the back of the tail cone trying to attach the two. So I'm using two uh, old sanding pads and a, a DeWalt clamp as you can see. That way it's a non like hard clamp. Works pretty well. All right, now that we're apparently we're done with half the side. Oh, that's right. I can't do the other side until I get the other back. Uh, other, I can't do the other EGT probes until my buddy Larry gets the uh, left side back to me. We are wiring up the tail light. I don't know if it's going to shine here, but oh, it's going to shine. That thing is bright as the sun. All right, that does it for us. Hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, in the next video. There's going to be more things. Let's see, what is it going to be? Snorkel! Snorkel prop bolts. Alright. Thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.